There's an old saying, without direction, you don't know where you'll be going. So could somebody tell me where is Marathon going? You know that game that has been produced by Bungie and Sony? Yeah, because the director just got fired. Oh, baby. But you won't believe for what. What this guy got fired for, I'll let you know. In the meantime, let's listen and let's see how for the past few years, uh, persons have been, you know, discrediting uh, Xbox, has been discrediting the leadership there. Um, for many reasons, we have seen all the hypocrisy in the gaming media. For example, this. Look at PC Gamer here. Who would have said more people are playing 2017 Prey than this year's Redfall on Steam? And the latter's player count fell all the way down to two players last Sunday. But all of a sudden, when Concord, the biggest uh, failure ever released, um, you know, came on board, listen to them now. The eagerness to grave dance on unpopular games has become a bad habit. Look at the hypocrisy in real time, guys. Look at how the gaming media treat games that, you know, uh, Xbox is in charge of compared to what, you know, Sony is in charge of. I mean, could you guys remember when the gaming media blamed Microsoft for how Redfall released? Although Microsoft didn't have anything um, to deal with the development of Redfall. However, they still said it is uh, Microsoft fault. It is Xbox fault for releasing this game. But now they are saying that when, uh, you know, Doom has been released, don't blame Microsoft for how it looks and how it plays. <laughs> and Xbox has a brighter future than we've ever seen before because a lot of these games look promising, but they're not out yet. And some of these games are nowhere near close to being out or releasing, you know? And I think that when we see something like Doom, the Dark Ages, it's like, will that be good? Like, yeah, that's, that's obviously going to be good because it's Doom, it's made by Bethesda, it's software. But let's face it, Microsoft had very little to actually do with that, but... What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? People will be able to say, that's a good Xbox game. But when we look at stuff like Fable, like, I'm much more interested to see, like, is Fable going to be good? Right? Because that's a Microsoft game. That's a, that's a Microsoft property. That's a Microsoft game in the sense that Playground Games is making it. Playground Games is making it, and it's like... Can you do it? Can Microsoft, can you do it? Not Bethesda, not Activision Blizzard. Can you do it? That's right, you. Can you do it? And that's why I want to see, like, how's that going to turn out? So, guys, are you seeing the hypocrisy by these ponies? Are you seeing the hypocrisy in the gaming media? Do you see what I do, what I do? Because there are very few persons calling this out. But I am one of them. I'll make sure to call it out because it's like some persons are blind, they have cataract, they have glaucoma. But today, what are we going to talk about? Today, we're going to talk about the so-called rumored PlayStation 5 Pro. I'm hearing that it has over 1,000 flip-flops of computing power. In addition to that, we are going to talk about why did the marathon, the director, got get fired. And then we will talk about how um, Square Enix is fed up. Of Sony and their players. <laughs> so you know what? Let's get it. This is a sickness. Let's get it. So before we continue, guys, don't forget to support the movement. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and share it out. Now you get great Xbox content like what you're seeing here. You get a sprinkle of Nintendo news, of course. You get that sweet, sweet, sweet Sony Pony Salt. Yeah, buddy. So if this type of content interests you, don't forget, hit that subscribe button today. Now let's get back to the video. First up, let's talk about this marathon director. So yes, as I said before, it is being reported that persons are accusing this director of inappropriate behavior. I mean, he is saying, No, I do not. And don't you ever say I did. We wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities and powers. Can you 
Now this is turning out to be a disaster again for Sony when it comes to Bungie. But let's see what the article says. Listen. Bungie reportedly fired former Marathon director after misconduct allegations by female staff. The veteran director was replaced in mid-2023. Bungie fired its former Marathon game director after multiple allegations of misconduct by female staff, according to a new report. Earlier this year former Valorant game director Joe Ziegler announced that he had taken over as Marathon game director, amidst reports that former game director Christopher Barrett had left the company. A new Bloomberg report now claims that Barrett was fired by Bungie after being accused of inappropriate behavior. Barrett, who had previously worked as an artist, art director and game director on the Halo and Destiny games, was assigned as game director on Marathon before leaving the company in March, as per previous reports. However, Bloomberg sources now claim that the reason for Barrett's departure was a termination following an internal investigation, in which at least eight female employees raised complaints that he had behaved inappropriately towards them. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? According to the report, Barrett was said to have told lower-level female employees they were attractive, asked them to play truth or dare, and suggested that he could help them to advance their careers because of his wealth and power in the studio. In a statement to Bloomberg, Barrett said of his two and a half decades at Bungie, I feel that I have always conducted myself with integrity and been respectful and supportive of my colleagues, many of whom I consider my closest friends. I never understood my communications to be unwanted and I would have never thought they could possibly have made anyone feel uncomfortable. If anyone ever felt that way about their interaction with me, I am truly sorry. Bungie's parent company Sony Interactive Entertainment did not give a comment on the specific case but said it took all complaints of misconduct very seriously. Earlier this month, Bloomberg's Jason Schreier, the author of today's new report claimed the mood at Bungie regarding Marathon as not great. There's a reason that it was planned for this year and slipped a whole year, and people that I've talked to are a little pessimistic about it even hitting its current planned deadline, Schreier said. But we'll see, I don't know exactly when that is, sometime in 2025, I'm not sure. He added, yeah, the sentiment, I've heard, is not great around it, at least of a few months ago. So let me get this straight. First, Bungie would have cancelled factions. They would have approved, they would have seen Concord and approve it. They would have cancelled the Spider-Man, uh, you know, uh, games as a service games. Um, and now they are being accused of all these allegations of, uh, you know, being inappropriate towards women. Yes, Sony is reaping what they sowed. Sony is reaping what they sowed for all their slimy ways. You see, Bungie is eating Sony in, um, is eating Sony from the inside out. With all this bad press surrounding Bungie, with all the bad press with the layoffs and their uh, team lead or the person in charge buying all sorts of cars and so forth. We are seeing very clear that Bungie was a bad deal altogether for Sony. No matter how you look at it, Bungie is not proving to be a good buy. And now, the game that they are working on could be, you know, delayed or could be a downsized as some reports are saying. Yes, this was a bad deal altogether, but it's good for Sony. Sony deserve what they are getting now. But let me hear what you think about this video. How uh, that developer there from Bungie has been inappropriate towards women. What do you think about that? Let me know that in the comment sections below. Next up, let's talk about Final Fantasy. You see, it's very clear that Square Enix is fed up of Sony and their fans because they are saying they are going to double down on Xbox releases. Final Fantasy XIV producer says, looking to further deepening the relationship with Xbox gamers. So why you think the producer is saying this? Why you think he's saying that? But let's let's read on and see more. It says Final Fantasy 16 producer and 14 director Naoki Yoshida has said Square Enix is looking to double down on Xbox releases after its focus on PlayStation exclusivity led to a financial dip. So he is saying because of that exclusivity deal that they had with PlayStation, you know, they would have dipped when it comes to you know, their profits and their revenue and so forth. 
You should have told Eurogamer that Final Fantasy XIV recent release on Xbox was met with a really strong response and is just the starting point for more Square Enix games to launch on the platform. So this is very clear, you know, and this really exposes the PlayStation gamers as persons who just talk. They claim to say that they buy games, they claim to say that they play games, but it is very clear that not enough persons bought these Final Fantasy games on the PlayStation uh, 5 or the PlayStation 4, and that is why we are seeing that they go, they are going all in when it comes to Xbox and bringing their games on Xbox. These guys are hypocrites, and this producer just exposed the entire fan base you all do not buy games in droves like how you guys buy call of duty and cf thieves would you look at that <laughs> but let me hear what you thought about the hypocrisy that is the playstation community not buying their games and the squared enix producer calling these ponies out you guys need to buy and shut up but let me know that in the comment sections below now i was going to talk about the playstation 5 pro and about how the ponies are saying that this have over 100 uh, flip-flops and it will be able to beat any pc um i was going to do a video on that but i will have to push that back for a later date because there are new reports coming from ign coming from forbes um in two separate occasions that they are reporting that uh you know playstation would have made an exclusive deal with game science that is the developers who made black myth wukong so let's listen to the forbes article as they break down what they would have heard when it comes to a deal with game science the makers of black myth wukong and sony listen black myth wukong isn't on xbox yet due to an exclusivity deal this is one of the stranger sagas of console exclusivity I've seen in quite a while, and now I've received new information that I consider the final word on the situation as to why Xbox does not currently have Black Myth, Wukong available while the game has launched on PC and PS5. A source with specific knowledge of the situation has told me that contrary to previous reporting, and even departing from Game Science's own statement, that the reason Black Myth, Wukong is not currently on Xbox is due to an exclusivity deal, not because of some sort of technical issue causing a delay in the release of the game. IGN has also confirmed this same information, was not told the duration of this exclusivity deal, but it does not appear to be permanent. It is also unclear as to why this has not been publicly disclosed, as these sorts of deals are usually public knowledge. Again, this also runs contrary to what Wukong developer Game Science said about the situation. We are currently optimizing the Xbox Series 10 S version to meet our quality standards, Game Science said, so it won't release simultaneously with the other platforms. We apologize for the delay and aim to minimize the wait for Xbox users. We will announce the release date as soon as it meets our quality standards. That very much indicates a technical problem, but I am secure in my sourcing that the reason is instead exclusivity. I am attempting to clarify why Game Science made this statement if such a deal is in place and why it's being apparently kept under wraps. Instead, an exclusivity deal is much closer to what Microsoft has said publicly about the situation from the start. We're excited for the launch of Black Myth Wukong on Xbox Series 10 S and are working with Game Science to bring the game to our platforms. We can't comment on the deals made by our partners with other platform holders, but we remain focused on making Xbox the best platform for gamers, and great games are at the center of that. That statement, citing deals made with other platform holders, very much points to an exclusivity deal with Sony, and does not mention optimization or any other sort of technical issue. A recent insider claimed a memory leak was responsible, but what I am hearing runs directly counter to that in what game science is saying. The end result is the same. Black Myth, Wukong is not on Xbox, nor does it have a release date on Xbox, which, given it's significant as a release this year, is most unfortunate for Microsoft. I have reached out to Sony and Game Science and will update if I hear back. So there is the proof guys, there is the proof. Both Forbes and IGN from their sources would have uh, indicated that Game Science made an exclusive deal with Sony. Now one would ask, why would you make an exclusive deal and not announce it? Not say that this game is a, is a deal. Well, recall 
initially game science was bringing out this game for the xbox so sony would have come um, after the fact and because they would have brought that money with them that is why they had to say it's a memory leak issue because the optics um of gamers seeing that you was going to bring this game to another platform and because another platform paid for it um that would have been a kind of sleazy move normally that is done long before the game is even announced whether you know uh the game is going to be a platform exclusive or so forth but this came after announcing it to be um you know on xbox and and this is the game that sony played this is the game that you know um we have seen all through the gaming industry for years i mean you don't get angry when you see a, a serpent um you know strike at you a serpent will do what a serpent will do a snake will do what a snake will do you don't get angry when you see a slug or a snail produce slime no that is what slugs and slimes do so i expect moves like this from sony what was what was um not good on their part uh well that is game science part is they lied to our face they lied to our faces sorry they said that this was a memory leak issue and it was not it was just an exclusive deal well they say so say that and let the game game in community react the way that they was going to react but let me hear what you think uh, what you thought about this particular article i mean sony is coming up with the dirty tactics again man they know they don't have any major games for the remaining of 2024 so they are making some sneaky deals some sneaky enrolls um so that they can remain relevant um this year but let me hear what you thought about it guys um in the comment sections below don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos i'll see you guys in the next one later